Let me try to explain how all of this works. Now, some of you already know this and some of you might need a refresher, so here we go. If you want to be treated better by other people, raise your standards and start treating yourself better. Maybe treat yourself to something from time to time. Now, if this is small stuff, but maybe the next time you're out, get the more expensive wine. Maybe get the Uber XL or the black, even if it's just you. It's those little things that matter. Now, stay with me on this. Maybe you think about wearing those nice shoes or wear that nice new shirt. Oh wait, you don't have a new shirt? Go get one, treat yourself to something new. Maybe wear that sports jacket out this weekend and take yourself out somewhere to a nice dinner. Dressing up or dressing well 100% changes how you feel. It changes how you move through life and how you move across that room. It changes your masculinity, your poise, and as a bonus, it changes how other people see you. If you look respectable, you will be treated with respect. But if you allow disrespect and mistreatment from anyone, everything you just worked for is completely out the window. Now here's another thing, and I heard someone else say this in a YouTube video some time ago, and it went something along these lines. If your name, say, is Thomas, and that's what you prefer to be called, and you meet some guy and he says, hey, how you doing, T? You need to correct him and say, my name's Thomas. And if that guy gives you shit about it and says that, maybe you're too pretentious or arrogant, good. He just did you a big favor because if he can't respect you and your boundaries with just a simple first name, you don't want that guy in your life anyway. And maybe you're thinking to yourself like, calling somebody by their initials isn't really that big of a deal. Yes, it is. If your name is Thomas and that's how you want to be addressed, that's how it should be. <laughs> if you treat yourself like you matter, other people will do the same. You, my friend, are the man and you deserve to be treated well. So a couple weeks back, I made a video talking about treating yourself to certain things. And I asked you in the video, when was the last time that you actually did something for yourself? Because generally speaking, as men, we almost never put ourselves first. So my friend, right here, right now, I'm giving you permission to maybe splurge on yourself. It doesn't have to be anything crazy or extravagant like some flight to Paris or something. But look, if there's something out there that you want and that you deserve, I think you should be able to have it. But <laughs> be realistic because just because you think you might deserve a new Porsche, we have to understand <laughs> that that's something different and not everyone is able to do a new Porsche. But what about the little things? What about getting a couple of your buddies together and grabbing a couple cigars and enjoying a few drinks together? Not only are you providing something really cool and good for yourself, but you're providing the same thing for your friends. And even if you're not like a big cigar guy, you have gotta admit that every now and then it's a pretty nice treat. But the other thing that might be a little difficult if you're not a cigar guy is what to buy and where to buy it. And that's where today's sponsor, Best Cigar Prices, comes in because they have everything you need for the inexperienced as well as the experienced. You can jump on their website and search by different brands that maybe you've heard of. You can also choose by strength, whether you want it to be mellow or full-bodied, and you can choose what length of cigar you want, and you can also choose by origin. But I think the best bet is to go with their sampler packs because you can get a selection of top-rated cigars with a cigar cutter for a very low price. These guys are 100% owned and operated right here in the USA, and they've got incredible deals like daily deals, and they also have a BCP Rewards Club. They also have a guarantee that they'll beat any price out there or they'll give you 10 bucks. So if you wanna go check this out, there's gonna be a link down below in the description where you can get one of the top rated 90 plus all-star sample packs with a cigar cutter for only $15.95. And that's an over $45 value. And also with all orders over $75, you can take $10 off with a discount code, take 10 at checkout. Take advantage of this incredible deal right now. The link and the code are down below in the description. Thank you, Best Cigar Prices, for sponsoring today's video. Now here's something else that happens when you start treating yourself better. You no longer allow certain behaviors from people that you have in the past. So I wanna share with you guys something that happened to me just a few weeks ago. So I'm out hanging out with a group of friends, a big group of friends at this big table, and I was overhearing a conversation that was happening across the table from me. Now, I wasn't directly involved in the conversation, but the one guy was explaining to another guy about his big career move and potentially going back to college. I mean, this was kind of a big deal because he was getting ready to quit his job, but the other guy just kind of poo-pooed on the whole thing and kept telling him 
that he was making a bad move and why in the heck would he even consider going back to school at his age? And it was just sort of crazy to me because I'm over here thinking the whole time that that guy is brave as hell to put his life on hold just in order to come out the other end better off. At least that's how I saw it. The other guy clearly didn't see it the same way. The other guy just kind of kept crapping on the whole thing and told him he was crazy. Those are the kinds of people that you just don't want in your life and that's the kind of behavior that you really need to watch out for and remove yourself from. Because if you've made a decision or if you want to maybe try something new to better yourself or maybe start a new business venture and you're talking to other people about it and they crap on your idea, like what kind of friend is that? Have higher standards for yourself and treat yourself like you matter. Because what you'll find is that like attracts like. Because once you develop a standard for yourself and understand your full self-worth, you'll attract those same people into your life. That's just how the universe works. And as time goes by, you'll recognize poor behavior and disrespect from a mile away and you just won't stand for it. You won't accept it from men and you won't accept it from women. Now, here's the other thing. People will test you and they'll try to throw little subtle insults at you. Now, maybe they didn't mean it the way it came out, sure. But if it sounded like an insult to you, ask them to say it again or ask them to maybe explain it again. Like, you know, I'm not really sure what you meant. Can you explain that or say that again? By asking them to repeat themselves or explain what they just said, it puts it right back on them to either hold their ground with the insult or just retreat back and sort of lighten up. But if they still try to challenge your boundaries, they just did you a favor disassociate yourself from that person because they're not your people. But along with that, here's something else that you also need to understand. If you're raising up your standards and demanding respect from other people, you need to treat people in the manner in which you want to be treated. This means you treat them with the same level of respect because you can't be a meathead and treat the service staff at a restaurant like crap and then demand respect. That's not how it works. You lead with respect to get respect. But if you lead with disrespect, that's what you'll get. If you agree with what I'm saying, or even if you don't agree, either way, let me know down in the comments because I'm curious what you think. One more thing, please feed the algorithm by tapping that like button and consider subscribing. And as always, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Live well, and I'll see you in the next one.